This exhibit, viewed in New York City, is as of 2016, before the franchise was as complete as it is now, as of 2023. Like all great movies and great franchises, the wardrobe department and its costumes contribute a great deal to a motion picture's looks. It helps to create a character, develop a storyline, and provide ambiance to the scene. Star Wars uses a combination of influences from history, various cultures, and the mythical world. Notes at the exhibit state that the designers use history books themselves rather than past movies for ideas. The throne room gown shows the influence of Chinese culture. Obi-Wan Kenobi's costume resembles that of a monk, reflecting his character of wisdom and guidance. The Jedi fought the Sith. Light versus dark, good versus evil. But since the Sith came from a Jedi background, the costumes have some similarities. Flowing, sleek, with the differences being between color and fabric. I pointed me to an area that would not be boxed. I found these LED lights that were in a plastic strip, and I stuck those in it. The costume designers took into account the fight scenes and the movements the actors had to do. Since the lightsabers are used like swords, the actors trained in sword fighting. The special effects required that many of the scenes had to be shot against a blue screen, and often only the costumes and the props were there to help create the mood for the actors along with the dialogue. The royalties costumes were designed based on the era of the movie and the character. The royalty of Naboo wear elaborate costumes befitting their status compared to the simplicity and the Jedi of Princess Leia. The exhibit stated that Queen Amidala's costumes got more elaborate and numerous as the scripts developed. The designers drew a lot of inspiration from Asian cultures. You can also see the development of the costumes and the expense as the franchise got more and more popular with probably bigger and bigger budgets. Thanks for watching. I'm the NYC Traveler.